Well, guess what? I bought another 151 UPC from the Costco $90 bundle. Walmart also has these for $90 at the moment, so you don't even have to get them from Costco to get the great deal. Um, anyway, uh, this is now the fourth one I have opened here on the channel, or it will be momentarily. Um, just can't get enough of 151. Uh, I was not planning on doing a fourth one, um, partially because of how bad the last one was. Again, I've had one really good UPC that I've opened and two really bad ones as we take a look at the back here. The last one was incredibly terrible. However, quite a few people watched it in the first 48 hours it was live, more than I would have expected. So I figured, well, you know what? It's 151, it's been out a while. Not as many people are opening it as we are pushing. We're not out a year, but we're, we'll eventually get to a year the set has been released. And with these specialty sets, Unless it's something like Hidden Fates, it is not going to last in print for very long, and it already is, I believe, essentially out of print, you could consider it. Um, it's probably just they have print, they printed so much of it, there are still enough packs to go around for the moment. So let's get everything out of here. We got 16 booster packs, and I think last time I said 16 booster packs was half of a booster box. Of course, I know that 18 is half of a booster box. Sometimes you get those numbers mixed up like I did. So anyway, we have our Mew playmat. I have quite a few of those now. Not going to worry about opening it up and showing you guys. I'm sure you've seen them. We have 16 booster packs right here. We've got all of our bonus goodies on our Mew coin, probably the most sought after and we have our trio of Mews or Mewtwo's right here the metal Mew gold Mew EX alt essentially alt and Mewtwo alt so there we go these are all various promos in this box we're not going to worry about taking them out as I am sure you have seen them numerous times and probably own them yourselves we are here for these 16 booster packs Let's get the camera adjusted a little bit here. Hopefully that works out well and the camera stays focused for us. And let's get into it. And you know, what I'm really hoping for today is one alternate art special illustration rare. If we do not get a special illustration rare from this one out of 16 booster packs, I will be a little bit disappointed unless we get quite a few other gold and full art cards instead. So let's just see what we get here from our booster pack, Sand True into Sand Slash into a Beedrill. And there is that code card. Alrighty, pack number two. We got a Charmander to start us off with, a Spiro, Rhyhorn, Magikarp, Bill's Transfer, Golbat, Leftovers, Horsey, Gloom, and a Marowak for the Hollow. Man, 0 for 2 without even a Hollow Energy. That always really stings in these modern specialty sets like Crown Zenith and 151 or Pal Dan Fates. You open two packs and you really expect even to get the bare minimum of an EX pull or a Hollow Energy. And so when it doesn't happen, or when you open three, four, or five packs in a row with nothing, it really stings. We got Nidorino, Mankey, and just like that, we are 0 for 3, not even a hollow energy. There are lots of people who will say reprinted packs, such as, you know, stuff that would go to a Costco for $90. Would be a reprint and not from the initial print run that they end up making the print run, not the print runs, but the printed cards of Ultra Rares a little bit more difficult to get as we have Eevee, Golbat, and at least something, a Golem EX. And I normally don't, don't think that, but it does seem like a very real possibility. I do know that with Hidden Fates, there were numerous so-called print runs. I'm not sure exactly how many you could even confirm there to be. Um, however, those towards the end, I know a lot of the packs ended up having less and less ultra rares, at least compared to the first printing of the set. We got Doug Trio, Drowsy, and a Jolteon. 
and still just about nothing as we have another code card there. And I do to some degree understand it if they that is what they do because you want to have a certain amount of those special ultra rare cards. You don't want to just have unlimited printing of them. Otherwise it becomes way too easy to get for collectors in a sense and it becomes non-collectible. It becomes like a common uncommon card in a way. So I get that, but at the same time, they're taking value away from people by removing them from the packs. And there we go. We got a Fighting Hollow Energy, which really is not even a full hit. And this is why I was really not planning on doing another 151 UPC opening because of just how bad it can get. But all we need is one good special illustration rare or something Give me even just a regular Charmander illustration rare, and I'll be happy. We've got Charmeleon, Nidoqueen, Queen, Growlithe, and a Gengar. Oh, really fighting at this point to get anything. Let's see here with our next pack. We've got ourselves a Coughing, Tangela, Grimer, Psyduck, Raticate. Erica's Invitation, Magneton, Charmander, Kadabra, and a Weezing Hollow card. And there's the code. So we are, I believe, halfway through. And we have an EX card and a Hollow Energy card. <sighs> Alright. I think I saw something tingling in the back that was more than just a Hollow card. Let's see about our pack right here. Daisy's Help, Venomoth. Arcanine, Illustration Rare, nope, Dratini, and a Kangaskhan EX. Oh, okay, well, there we go. We got our two EX cards from the box. Next one can be a full art card. We've got ourselves a Kakuna, Poliwag, Ponyta, Pikachu, Hypno, Poliwrath, Pidgeot, Bulbasaur, there we go. Bulbasaur Illustration Rare. Thank you very much. Number 166 in the set. And a Mewtwo Hollow and a Darkness Hollow behind it. There is a code card. So, throw our wrappers off. We finally got ourselves that Illustration Rare. All right. Second half of the box is looking much brighter. Here we go. We've got a Cubone, Vulpix, Magnemite, Caterpie, Rapidash, Nidorina, Raticate, Abra Reverse, Seedra, and a Gyarados. One thing about 151, and I'm, I think I'm not alone when I say this, is the wrapping and product visually looks so good with the 151 Pokemon in the background of whatever product you were looking at. Just makes it feel really cool and nostalgic, which of course is what they're going for. We got Executor, Ghastly, and a Dode Rio. Another code card as we are down to our final four packs. We should definitely get two more ultra rare cards, I would hope, out of these final four packs. Give us one more card that we can consider this box a win. Give us a gold, if nothing else. We got an Ivysaur, Slowbro, Mudchoke, a Chansey Rare Reverse, a Jigglypuff, and a Drill. We've also only gotten two Hollow Energy cards. I always thought those were more like hmm, maybe one in four, maybe even one in three packs, which means getting only two of them out of 13 packs or so is... Quite odd. We got Weedle, Zubat, Erica's Invitation, Magneton, a Nidoqueen, Zubat, Ivysaur, and a Flareon. Again, no nothing in that pack. No nothing. Final two packs, and I I do think that the more and more I open of these sets and likely packs from reprints, the more likely it is that they do lessen the print run of some of the more expensive cards and even just regular EX and hollow energy cards. I feel like I've been pulling less and less of the of them from the products we've been opening. Thankfully I do have quite a few stuff from the original print run overall. 
but we won't be opening any of that anytime soon. War Turtle and a Raichu. There we go. We at least got a Hollow Energy card as we have our final booster pack. The only card of any value that we have gotten thus far has been that Bulbasaur. So definitely, definitely hoping for one more something in this pack. Ekans, Protective Goggles, and Arcanine. Tentacruel, Hypno Reverse, Scyther Reverse, and a Chansey Hollow. And there we go. I have zero plans to open any more 151 after how bad this is. Absolutely atrocious. We thankfully got something moderately decent. Unfortunately, it was a single card, a Bulbasaur out of 16 booster packs. Thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully a number of you stuck around and watched this one just like the last one and made it a little bit more worth it since we didn't get anything. There we go. There's the Bulbasaur. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next weekend.